managing applications in Azure Virtual Desktop has always been complicated. Then MSIX AppAttach came along and made it so easy for so many of you. But I hate to be the one to tell you, MSIX AppAttach is being deprecated on June 1st, 2025. But don't panic, this is actually a very good thing for all of us. The newest version of AppAttach offers more flexibility, control, and better performance. So in this video, I'll help you migrate from MSIX to the new AppAttach smoothly and help you unlock the full potential of AVD apps in just three easy steps. Here in the AVD portal, let's see what you've got. Go to your host pool and on the left, go to MSIX packages and there's all the packages available to this pool mounted from Azure Files. And we wanna migrate those to the new AppAttach method. Now you could of course do this manually by documenting all of its settings and permissions and then removing them here and then setting them up as AppAttach but we should never do something by hand when we can automate it. So step one is our prep work. You'll need at least one host pool with the validation environment setting enabled and at least one MSIX package that you wanna migrate. For permissions, you're gonna need the desktop virtualization contributor role or higher, and we're gonna use a script that'll do the migration for us, which means you'll need the latest version of these PowerShell modules or you could just make it easy on yourself and open the cloud shell. With the prep work done, we can move on to step number two. The script that's gonna do the migration is in the AVD public GitHub repo linked in the video description. And you can just click right over here and download it or back in your PowerShell, you could run a command like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to connect to your Azure account as well as to the Microsoft graph and then import these PowerShell modules. Now let's check how many MSIX AppAttach packages you have with this command. And to keep things simple, let's use some parameters for this for the host pool and the resource group names. Now when you run the command, there's all of your packages that you need to migrate. And we'll start with just one of them and I'll show you how that's easy and then we'll move them all at once. Start by making some new parameters in this block for the items of MSIX package and the host pool ID. And we should add a couple more parameters here for the type of app that you want this to be because the new version of AppAttach assigns permissions differently, whether they're a desktop or a remote app. And the other parameter here is pass-through, which will return the value of our new AppAttach package. Now, we wanna just check and make sure that all these values are 100% correct in our variables before we start the migration. Then you just run this command and make it so. And in just a minute, you're done. Which brings us back to step three, verify. So back in the AVD portal on the left, go to the new app attach section and there's your new package. And the new app attach allows apps to be shared across all of your pools without duplicating them. And permissions can be customized down to the individual user level, even within the same pool. And you can run multiple versions of the apps simultaneously on the same host which is gonna make rolling out application updates seamless and without any downtime. And you can even use AppX and AppV formats for broader compatibility and more detailed monitoring inside the AVD Insights. Now, of course, you could just rinse and repeat one by one with all of these, but back in PowerShell, let's do it all at once. So we should set a log file path here so we can document each step of the process just in case something goes wrong. Now in this top section, remove the pipe and the specific name so that way we capture all of the MSIX packages in one variable. And then of course, just run that variable again and verify that it all looks correct. Now in this bottom section, there's a few more optional parameters that I suggest. Things like making it active and deactivating the original, as well as if you wanna be logging uh, using the JSON format. And of course, the path to your log. Now using your MSIX packages variable, pipe that to the migration script with your parameters, and in just a minute or two, you're done. And now that you're all migrated from MSIX to the new AppAttach, you should watch this video and learn about all of those new AppAttach features. And happy learning.